Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If I sound like I'm sick, it's because I am. I'm just having some allergies right now and <laughs> so my voice sounds a little bit different. As you can see, Peter is now level 7. I recently became ultra obsessed with this horse and just started training him like crazy. So he got to level 7 in one day. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. I did max Gunner, which is really amazing, you know, so I've trained Gunner, I've trained Henry, and I've trained Pluto recently. I thought today I would make a fun little video just doing Wildwood Stabies because I am not admired with the herds yet, and you know, they have some horse XP that you can get by doing some of these dailies, like 50 horse XP and then 100 warriors, 100 reputation points. So I thought that that would be, you know, something to do. <laughs> Hearing myself talk, honestly, my voice sounds a lot worse than I thought it did. So, sorry. <laughs> I also might need to turn down sound in my game again because this sound is a little bit loud, I guess. I don't think you can turn down the sound while you're racing though, but I'll just wait because I'm almost done collecting the pot. Alright, so there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the volume I normally put it at, but I can turn it down. Just because. Because I know my microphone is a little bit quiet. And it has a little bit of an echoey sound to it. I personally don't mind, but, you know, I just have to make sure to turn down my game sound. That way it doesn't overpower my voice. I've also put my microphone a lot closer to my face. So, oh no, what is this? Okay, <laughs> that was a weird screen shaky. But I put my microphone a lot closer to my face. Hopefully that helps it to be able to pick up the sound more easily. It seems like there's lag in this area, but there's not any people. Also, the weirdest thing happened yesterday when I was training Peter. I was at Steve's farm and there was literally no one there. There was literally no one, which is very rare for Windstar to have no one there. So that was very, very unique. <laughs> I was training pretty early in the morning though because I, you know, it was just something. It was, it was something. Uh, I for, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I forgot what day it is today. I don't remember if it's Tuesday or Monday, but I think it's Monday. It's gonna, I'm gonna look so dumb if I check and it's not Monday. Okay, it's Monday. It's Monday. I lost track of the days, guys. Uh, wow, quarantine is getting to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, I don't remember doing school yesterday, so mm, it's probably Monday, but uh, yeah, yesterday, you know, Sunday, Saturday, fun days for training. You don't have school. You don't have anything. You just get on Star Stable and play Star Stable. It's really fun. So that's what I did. And I also went on a picnic, which was fun. Did a little walk. They had a little trail at the picnic place that I got to go on. It was fun. Um, yeah. I did get popular with the warriors and with the foresters, but I'm still very sorely lacking on my mystics reputation. And it's because there's no quests with mystics. We had the saving cedar quest line with the foresters, and I believe we had a quest line before that with warriors. I can't, I can't remember what it was. I don't know. We had something with warriors that made it quicker to build rep with them than it was to build rep with foresters or mystics, because even like forester stuff, you know. Wow. We did have also races with foresters, which did help give us more reputation with foresters. But mystics, we haven't had anything with them. So hopefully next mini quest we get in Wild Woods, it's something with mystics because we need some help here. Or I need some help is a better way to say it. 
Um, we are also supposed to be getting our main story quests next week, which is very, very exciting. I have completed all of my quests except the Icelandic race, and that's because I don't have an Icelandic and I don't want to buy one because they're one of the Gen 2 horses that I don't like. I like the Gen 2 Frisian, I like the Gen 2 Arabian and Tavian and Arabian Thoroughbred and all that stuff. I like the Mustangs, I like the Quarters, I like those horses, they're nice. And I like the Welsh ponies too, but the Icelandics, they're not it for me. Some, for some reason, their butts look like a chicken leg to me. I don't know, it's so weird, but they just do. So that's why I haven't bought one. And also, they are above average prices for horses. And I don't want to pay that much for a horse that I don't like. So, yeah. We're supposed to be getting the new Arabians in two days, and um, I don't know what to... Uh, I'm so mixed opinion because I love the Arabians. I think that they are very well done. The animations, the model, the coats, they're all amazing, but none of the coats really spoke to me. Like, I wanted this horse as soon as I saw it in the, like, trailer. Well, in the, you know, first I saw it in the teaser picture. So it was like this buckskin horse face with like, these orange eyes and stuff. and It was beautiful. And we got that teaser picture around Halloween, for the Orphic Wild, that was one of the first teaser pictures that we ever got, along with the teaser picture of the Black York Wild, which I wanted that one too, and then we got the two ones that I wanted since I first saw them. I would like to get a Mystic Yorvik Wild eventually, like one with the blue and the mane and stuff. Uh, I really like the Akrumela one because it looks like Starshine, and one of my dreams when I first like started playing the game, I wanted to get Soul Riders horses so bad. I don't actually want the Orbic Wild that looks like Meteor, though. I'm not a big fan of that. But I always thought Starshine was so cool, so I might get that Orbic Wild because it looks like him. But I don't know if I'd name it Starshine. I think I might want to go with, like, we got new name options, which are super cool. Now you can name your horse Zombie Apocalypse. I've seen people naming their horses AO. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. I really like the new name options. You can name your horse Uno. You can name your horse Ego. You can name... Something messed up with my computer. You can name your horse Darko. Like, there's some options for <laughs> what your horse can be named. You can name your horse Dark Core, which is really cool. You know, we love that. Um, I also said previously that I might change Peter's name because I'm not a big fan of how I named him. But honestly, I'm not going to change it. It costs a lot to change, and I do like Tiger Lily. It does fit him after riding him more. Because Peter Pan and Wendy... They're cool, but like Peter Pan and Tiger Lily, that is where it's at. I think that they were better than Peter Pan and when they could ever be. That's just my opinion. Um, that's why I'm not going to change his name because that was, you know, that's just, it fits. It fits so much. Oh, wait, what, what daily am I missing here? Okay, Juniper's letter delivery to Rocco. That is what it is. I also, I have... I can't do this for too long because I do have a class, so a Zoom class. I can't do this for too long, but I, I have time to do these dailies. It's in like an hour, so, <clears throat> or more than an hour. But I always get so worried, like, oh, I don't want to, oh, I don't want to, you know, be late for class. <laughs> I get so worried about being late for events because um, I don't like when people are late. And so I'm always trying to not be late, but sometimes I'm late, and it makes me so sad when I am. Because I'm like, oh, I should have done this or done that and not be late, but here I am, you know. It's fine. I'm just blabbing on and blabbing on. Yeah. Also, I kind of want to change... Griff's mane, but I have absolutely no idea what to change it to. I don't want to change his mane to any of the Yorvik Wild mane styles, but at the same time, I don't know which of the like other mane styles fits him really. I've considered braids, and then I've considered like the kind of longish mane that I currently have on Storm, which is my starter horse. Um, I've looked at those for him, but. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. If you can hear that song outside, it is the ice cream truck. 
coming into our neighborhood, it comes in sometimes and it makes a song. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. If you can hear that, that is what it is. Oh, and seeing this person on their horse bareback reminds me, I always want to turn on wild, like show wild horses. Because every time I see someone riding a horse bareback and bridleless, I'm like, is that horse wild? Are they being a wild horse? And for some reason, I just get so curious. Yeah, the music is really loud now. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear it. Yeah, that is a thing. So, I am just, yeah. Um, I can also, something if you guys would like to see it, I can do a my training route video, or training route, however you want to say it. I don't actually always like just train randomly, like it seems like I train randomly in my videos like watching my training times, it looks like I just train randomly, willy nilly all over the place. But I actually do have a training route. And I can show that to you guys if you're interested in seeing that. It's my own personal way, in my opinion, that like you get the most XP in the least amount of time. Because in my videos, I do train and I do like all the races in a certain area. But if I'm getting on just to train for a few minutes, I don't usually have that much time that I'm gonna be training for, I'll usually just do um, my like races that I always do my training route, just because it's the quickest way to get the most XP. Um, so, in my opinion, well, not opinion, because honestly, it's facts. <laughs> it's facts, because yeah, okay, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I can do a video on that if you guys would like to. It's not, I didn't. I don't, I'm pretty sure that people do this exact same route because it just, it's like obviously the best choice for XP. But I can make a video on that if you would like to see it. Um, just tell me in the comments if that is something that you're interested in. Also, I, and like, I'm sad because this week, because I'm not going to be buying one of the new Arabians. Maybe eventually, but not right away, especially because I watched the videos, like, oh, spoilers, and none of the coats really spoke to me. The one that I really, like, my most favorite of all the coats, they said that it's probably not even going to be viable, like, you wouldn't even be able to buy it, most likely. And so, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say that I'm not going to buy one, because I don't want to look like a liar if I change my mind or something, but... I know for sure I'm not going to buy one when they come out because, first of all, I'd like to save up my star coins a little bit more, and I would like to, you know, train all my horses that I currently have before I buy any more. Which, the horse that I currently have left to train is Raven, my Pentavian. This horse right here, Peter. Griff is still in training, Davine, and then Dustin and Steve my quarters are the other ones that I have to train. But all my other horses are max, so I don't have too many in training. I mean, like, he's a pretty high level. He's level 7. Griff is, like, level 5. So it's not going to be, it won't be too bad, but yeah. Okay, that was it. Um, no, not really any more dailies to do in Wildwoods with the herds. So yeah, I just want to make this quick little video. I don't really know what I'm going to post, like, for the rest of the week because I'm not going to have any content for the update. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> just, if you like this video, make sure that you can comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so that you can know when I will be, whenever I upload, because, you know, that just makes it easier to know. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!